Here's a quick example of how modules could be laid out. If you take a look at here, the, the name is very specific, but if we roll down a little bit further, do you notice how things have been indented? And so if we go here, this is a text header, and we see it's also been indented over. So as you're looking at it from a student's point of view, it's gonna be scrollable and glanceable because if this was directly underneath Tuesday, it makes it a little more difficult to stand out. I can also tell here, this is um, probably like uh, chapter one, part one, or something like that, chapter one, part two. That would be specific to the classes, but having these naming conventions, and you can see they're pretty much in numerical order, it's, it's again, glanceable. If I said, hey, it's on Friday and it's uh, 1.2 or 1.3, I could just very quickly find Friday, the date, and the 1.3 quiz that I need to accomplish. The text headers, some people will use like units or worksheets or videos, and then all the videos that are underneath here, all the homework or their assignment. So they don't necessarily have to be the dates, but for a high intensity course like AP economics, things are very geared towards this is what we're doing today, and this is what we're doing tomorrow. So dates work in this situation. So you know what will work potentially best for your courses. And so setting up your text headers will help organize everything. Another layer we'll put in here is potentially on every bit of homework, there's a little tiny emoji that you can put here. So then you can glance and see on Tuesday, this is classwork, here's a quiz, and that's my homework. Final recommendation would be Let's say you start off using dates, but for some reason in your text headers, dates are not working. Make sure it's a clean cut. In other words, like Friday you were doing dates and Monday you're going to chapter headers, something along those lines. Make sure it's very obvious to all of your kids that you've made that change. I would not recommend making a change without informing them.